The update there. Also tonight we are updating you on the promises for federal funding to help local governments cover expenses after that deadly December blizzard back in 2022. There are new calls for federal aid when snow slams areas like western New York. When Channel 2's Ron Plants went looking for the money and answers to prove that those past promises were not a snow job. Ron? So did that big fat federal check for millions for snow cleanup, <clears throat> excuse me, ever end up in Buffalo's mailbox? Well, so far, no, says Mayor Byron Brown. The same answer from an Erie County spokesman. They're waiting, waiting, and waiting. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is what we hear is standard operating procedure for FEMA, especially when it comes to snow. So now, from City Hall and some state politicians, calling on the Federal Emergency Management Agency to get away from its traditional no dough for snow mindset, as they put it, and help compensate for major snow events, there is concern that FEMA considers hurricanes and tornadoes with loss of property and life as more pressing priorities. But of course, the December 2022 storm did have 47 local deaths as it really paralyzed the city and some of the suburbs. A somewhat frustrated Mayor Brown speaking with us this afternoon. And I think the federal government really needs to relook at how it supports communities that get extreme weather, particularly a heavy snowfall like many northeastern cities do. Of course, we've heard that same observation for years. Now, shortly after the December 2022 storm, U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer, very powerful as majority leader, told reporters he would press FEMA not to delay funding and that he would make it clear to the FEMA administrator who he personally knew from New York City. Erie County Executive Poland Carr said he has President Biden in person, and we did get the disaster declaration to authorize the funding flow, also announced by Governor Hochul as the state met the $36 million cost threshold level back in 2022. And we're also going to seek some answers on where the federal funding sits in that federal distribution pipeline. Not sure how much of an answer we'll get. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.